Ever wonder how everyone else builds their model railroads and what they look like? Well, you've come to the right place. It's time for another virtual model railroad show. Hey everybody, my name's Jimmy. I'm drinking a local coffee today, and this is Coffee and Trains. This video is brought to you with support from my patrons on Patreon. These videos would not be possible without them, and if you'd like to join the Patreon community, you can follow the link in the description below and join for as little as $1 a month. We're going to start right off with a Mr. Tony Kane. Tony Kane is building this in-scale door layout, and uh, it's actually 8 feet long, so a little bit longer than a standard door, but Tony is recovering from a motorcycle accident where he was hit by a drunk driver. I am so sorry that that happened to you, but he says he has some time on his hands, and while he heals, he is working on his railroad. So show you a couple different things going on. He's got a lot of cool stuff going on right here. You can see he's using some Kato unitry track and it just looks like he's having a ton of fun with this you know i have a soft place in my heart for uh these door layouts and i just think that they look it looks really great what he's doing here some close-ups of his scenery and uh really really happy with what you got here tony it looks great i uh, hope you get better soon Next up, we have Mike Evans, and he is getting back into the hobby, and he is starting an HO scale layout, and it looks really, really good what he's got coming along here. Um, love what he's seeing here. I love those intermodal cars. I have a soft spot for intermodal cars. I think that they're great uh, sign of like modern railroading, but really love what I'm seeing here. A lot of great stuff going on. I love the, the partially destroyed house in this shot. That looks really, really cool. Um, looks like you're just having a ton of fun with this. That's a good looking Main Street right there. So way to go, Mike. Looking great. Keep up the progress. Keep up the work and let us keep uh, checking out your model railroad. Next up, we have Elijah Tremblay Hallett. I hope I said your name right. And uh, he's getting started on his model railroad. Looking great so far. I love the tunnel. I love this uh, in scale. that Kato Unitrack. I love the rock face that you're building right there. I love these trees, too. They look really, really good. And looks like you, uh, you, got a, you got a long way to go before it's completely done, but it's looking good so far. I love those plaster rocks. Good start right there. Um, I love that. Oh, you can see that these are wire trees. So good job on those, Elijah. Looks really, really good. Love that tunnel portal. Uh, you're really going to like this when you're done. It looks really, really great. Before we get into our next one, let's talk about some of the coffees that you guys are drinking. Uh, Jerry Brown says that he is drinking a cup of Community Half Calf with Vanilla Creamer. But he says, thanks to Coffee and Trains, he was introduced to Black Rifle Coffee while on vacation. Sounds great. Lois Paget says that they're not much of a coffee drinker, but had a fruit smoothie for breakfast. Hey, can't argue with that. Fruit smoothies are really, really good. And Ralph Greenwood says that he is getting some Jose's Colombian Supremo ready as he's watching this. So thank you guys so much for sending that in. If you want to tell me what kind of coffees you guys are drinking, leave them in the comments below. Let's hop in to our next person who is Wyatt Sieber. I hope I'm saying that right. And Wyatt has a layout that is under construction and it's looking really good. He's building out of Bachman Easy Track. Uh, a lot of stuff going on here, but I love the I love the woods right here. It looks really, really good. Love all the trees. Um, I also love the ballasting job that you have done on Easy Track. Easy Track is sometimes not the easiest to ballast. I think especially this shot shows it looks really, really good, Wyatt. I think you should be proud of that. And uh, notice how he also uh, kept the uh, switch controls clean. That's very important. So another shot of that ballast looks really, really great. Good job, Wyatt. Um, you should really be proud of what you're doing right here. I love that shot of the engine. Next up, we have Douglas Marginson, and I'm going to go ahead and start the video that he sent in. And this is a really cool video, and I'm going to let it play for a little bit. But basically, he has something similar to a lot of what I have done with. He has some BD20s, um, an Arduino Mega, and some custom signals. And you can just see once this thing starts and gets going, you can see how it works. And it just looks really, really, really good. You can see that the uh, aspect changes and uh, as he goes into the area of detection and then he'll back it right back out and that will change. Looks really, really great. I love seeing this kind of stuff. It really shows you what you can really do with an Arduino and it really doesn't take that much 
work. And you can see as he comes right back out of the area that it goes right back to green. So a great job, Douglas. You should be really, really proud of that. And it looks really, really great. Okay, guys, if you want to have your model railroad featured in a virtual model railroad show, there's an email in the description below that you can send all of your stuff to. Just make sure that if you're sending stills to send me a photo of your entire railroad, even if it's not finished, a lot of guys here also love seeing those unfinished model railroads because it gives them inspiration, especially on things like bench work and base level scenery. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, I'm Jimmy from the DIY and Digital. Stay safe, be kind, drink some coffee, and happy railroading.